Yesterday, crews responded to a fire that had started on an exterior balcony and had quickly traveled up the outside of the building and put a uh, fire watch on place. Uh, this morning, that fire watch noticed some heat building and smoke building in a uh, void space. So crews are back on scene uh, today, just chasing down uh, that hot spot. Literally two minutes ago, this building was there was a tiny bit of smoke coming out of it, and now it's going crazy. We've got all apparatus out right now. We've got five pieces of apparatus. Uh, working with fire, many crews working uh, on the roof and the void spaces. It started on an exterior balcony uh, and then quickly crews arrived on scene and knocked that fire down. The building is under a renovation right now. Uh, there certainly have been crews uh, working on scene. Uh, the fire is under investigation at this time. Can you tell us anything about the extent of the damage, uh, cost estimate or anything like that? Uh, it will be too early at this point to say. No, there were no injuries. We had uh, eight people evacuated last night. Our emergency social services team was on scene and they were housed at uh, the Delta Village Suites under our emergency uh, social service program. Every year um, I come across a number of homes with uh, older smoke detectors in them. Uh, there is a program out right now that uh, uh, that's right across Canada and the States uh, asking folks or letting people know that they need to change their smoke detectors. Uh, if they're over 10 years old, uh, you want to test them, you want to change them basically because I mean it's your family, it's your pets, it's your, it's your life, you know, and it's worth it to protect it. Uh, it's very simple.